What's up guys, Classy Metal here. Uh, I've got a quick little collection update video for you guys today. Uh, not just too terribly much. I have a uh, three CD order. There was the uh, Nuclear Blast Black Friday sale. I ordered three CDs on that, that came in. I had I ordered this little CD lot on uh, eBay that was three CDs, I'm gonna show that. And then I have two uh, Bandcamp CD purchases that I'm gonna show as well. Uh, the Black Friday Nuclear Blast, kind of mad at myself on this one. I wanted to revisit that sale. I was kind of rushed that day when I was doing this order, and I told myself when I got back home that night I was going to revisit and, and pick up some other stuff that was on this sale, and I, I never got around to it. So I'm kind of disappointed with myself on that for forgetting to do that. I am happy with the three CDs that I did pick up. They were uh, $2.99 each, so I feel like I got a steal on those. One that... uh. I'm glad to have back in my collection now and two others that were definitely needed in the collection. Uh, the first one, the one that I added back to my collection is a band that I've kind of been enamored with since uh, for I guess almost 20 years now. I remember seeing them live back in 2000, I think it was 2000, maybe 2001, and they absolutely terrified me when I saw them live. I was young, I was dumb, I was scared to death, but I fell in love with them, if that makes any sense whatsoever. The band I'm talking about is Vader, and uh, the album that I've Glad to have back in my collection now is TB at Igni, I believe is how you pronounce that. As, I, as I've been doing lately, I'm just going to list the albums in the order that I show them. Just the album, uh, band name, album title, in order that I show them. That way, if you see something you want to check out, at least uh, I, I have initiated the legwork for you so you can see that. You can look it up that way. Man, this is uh, some strong stuff from Vader. This is... a. Uh, for me, one of their, especially with their recent albums, is probably one of their stronger recent albums if they in recent memory. And I, I'm super stoked to have this back in my collection now. I sold my copy back when I was trying to raise some money for doctor's bills and hospital visits when I, my wife and I had that rough patch. A couple years ago, it was just a, it was one hospital stay after the other, and I had to sell some stuff out of the collection. Super stoked to have this back in there. Now, $2.99, you cannot beat that. So I was super happy to get that back. The next two albums I'm going to show, uh, these albums are both from the same band, and I think they're kind of overlooked albums in their discography, and unrightfully so. I've been guilty of overlooking these as well. I remember listening to these when they came out, and I really jammed them and dug them when they were out, and I just kind of forgot about them as time went by. So I, I went back, I saw them on the sale, revisited, and now I'm so glad to have them filling these holes in the collection. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is Doomsday X. This is uh, from, I guess I should say, the band. This is a Malevolent Creation with uh, Doomsday X. This is such a phenomenal album. It's been out, I think, since 2007. And I remember this coming out, and I remember how great I thought this album was when it came out. And I just kind of, as time went by, it just kind of got lost. And uh, when I saw this on that sale, I was, it kind of jogged my memory a little bit. I was like, man, I really remember digging this album. I think I need to grab that and put it back in the collection. I've listened to this a couple times already. These came in maybe three days ago. And this one's already gotten a two full spins, I know. And I'm so glad to have it in this collection, in my collection now, because fantastic release. Definite, definite overlooked album in their uh, discography, and uh, unrightfully so, because it is a masterpiece of an album. Uh, this next one is almost becoming a classic. It's probably 15 years old now. Uh, this is War Cult from Malevolent Creation. I saw both of those. I was like, man, two ninety nine for these two albums. I've got to, I've got to, I, got, I have to snag them. I will hate myself if I don't get them. So super stoked. Going to start adding, I think, a little bit more uh, malevolent stuff in my collection. It's one of those bands that I've kind of been uh, neglecting picking the material up, and now I want to go back and try to find it. Some of their older stuff is just super expensive and ridiculously priced. Hopefully there's some reissues and that type of stuff that I can pick up for the older material. It's one of those bands that's gone through so many lineup changes and so many adversities that it's uh, you just have to give respect to the fact that they're still around and they've been around this long. Fantastic stuff. Definitely uh, stoked to have all three of those albums in my collection and possession now. Uh, the next three, kind of weird type stuff. I picked these up. It was a cheap lot on eBay. They had a cheap buy it now price. I, I saw it and I was like, man, yeah, I'm, I'm getting that. Uh, the first album in it, I have not even listened to. I don't know much about it at all. Uh, the name of the project is called Star of Ash, and the name of the album is like like Um, From what I've read about this, it is 
kind of avant-garde uh, experimental rock type stuff. It's something that I think I'm just going to have to listen to when I'm in the mood to try something just weird and different. It was released on the end records. Uh, doesn't have a date, so I really don't know when this came out. I don't know much about it at all. If some of you know something about it or you enjoy this album, feel free to jump in the comments and tell me a little bit about it. As I said, I really just don't know much. I picked this little CD lot up for the other two albums that were in it. Uh, the next one that it was in there was from a project. It's kind of a uh, ambient, dark ambient type project. There are some uh, black metal things going on in the album not just too terribly much but it's kind of a i guess black ambient dark ambient project i own one of their other releases and i do enjoy that it's kind of mood atmosphere music sometimes and uh i, I thought that this would be a good thing i actually i think i'm going to put this album on after i wrap up this video while i finish packing up uh, the package is going out tomorrow uh the name of this project is called sieg hetnar sieg hetnar with a die melancholy Schmerzes. Yeah, it's a little five-track EP. As I said, it's just kind of dark ambient type stuff. Very atmospheric mood type stuff. This was released in 2010 and it was numbered to 99 copies. And it was, this was number 60, as you see. I'm not even going to try to butcher. I've already butchered the uh, project name and the album name. I'm not going to butcher the, uh, the label name on that. You know, I'm not going to go all out. And just make myself completely, completely useless. Just white disc, white, just very DIY DVD case. Yeah, I, I'm gonna link all this. I would not link it. I'm, I'm gonna list all this in the description, as I said. So if you want to check some of this out, feel free. Uh, next up, I have a. Uh, this is an album, almost a polarizing album. This is a project that was strictly uh, depressive black metal. And then they just kind of flip the script and they've gone this acoustic kind of folky type style. This album is completely acoustic folk. I know a lot of people hated this release just because of the drastic change in the band's sound or the, I guess the, 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 it's one member, his, uh, drastic change in sound. This is Zaster with a uh, subject to change. I, I dug this when I first heard it. I haven't spent just a whole lot of time with this. As I said, it's just completely acoustic folk type stuff. Almost has a country uh, twang going on at times on this from uh, what I remember. Definitely looking forward to spending some more time with this. Haven't listened to it in quite some time. But when I saw it on that uh, eBay lot for the, the price point that it was going for, I thought, yeah, I'm just going to jump on that, add it to the collection, and I'm, I'm glad that I have it now. Uh, next up was a pre-order that I did from uh, Bandcamp. This is on the 20 Buck Spin label. 20 Buck Spin has been killing it this year. They are also very, very behind on uh, getting orders out. I think, I think my uh, Black Friday order shipped out yesterday. I got shipping confirmation. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's been shipped yet. That just means that you have a tracking number. So hopefully it's already in the mail heading this way, but at least I have the confirmation now. I don't even remember what I ordered on that Black Friday sale. It's going to be almost a, a grab bag unboxing. Fortunately, my uh, short-term memory is absolutely terrible. I think I ordered four CDs. I do remember what two of those four are. The other two, I hope, I know, I hope I'm remembering correctly what they are. But uh, as I said, my memory is garbage. And it'll be, I guess it'll be a, almost like a grab bag when I open that up. I just got completely sidetracked talking about a 20 bucks spent. This was a pre-order, and as what I was saying is they were get just behind from the uh, amount of orders that they've been receiving. This came out, I think, two um, two weeks before I actually received my disc. So, I mean, they were just that far behind. I think they were shipping them out in the order that people pre-ordered them. And apparently, my pre-order was a bit later than some of the other folks that got theirs before I did. I thought I had a hang-up with the post office where mine... Uh, was in Memphis for like four or five days before I got it either. So that, that kind of sucked. Uh, the band I'm talking about is Obsequii. I think I pronounced that right with, uh, the palms of sorrow Kings, fantastic atmospheric black metal. I've heard this tagged as castle metal. I mean, with the castle themes and stuff going on, I see that, but don't, uh, pigeonhole it. Don't think it's just like a, uh, uh, dungeon scent that type stuff because it's not this is a fantastic fantastic release very original release probably the strongest this is the third full length from this band and definitely i see it as their strongest material to, to date uh just fantastic stuff the harp uh musicianship on this is a nice breath of fresh air 
And if you enjoyed their last release, you'll, you're definitely going to dig this one as well. I'm not going to get too far in depth talking about that because it will be on my end of the year list coming up within the next month or so. And I definitely want to spend some more time talking about it on that video. Um, for now, Ben over at Brain Smashers channel did a fantastic, fantastic review of this album about a month ago. Actually, he got me psyched up and uh, wanting to hear that album before I'd heard anything from it, just from his review. He did a stellar job on that review. I, I agree with pretty much everything that he said, so definitely go check that out if you have not done so. Uh, the last one that I'm going to show is another Bandcamp order. This one's kind of funny. Um, I ordered it, and I, as I was saying, uh, talking about the 20 bucks spent stuff, especially lately with the holidays and stuff going on and, and all the albums that I've been ordering and stuff coming in, I forget sometimes what I've ordered. And this one I ordered on Bandcamp, but it took like three weeks for them to even ship it. It was about a month between me ordering it and actually getting it in. And it was a domestic order. So, you know, something that, that domestically you don't Im imagine it taking that long to come. And I, I posted on Instagram when this came in. I said I had forgotten that I ordered this because it had been a little while. And uh, apparently one of the band members took offense to that and tried to blast me on uh, Instagram and curse me. But, you know, I mean took you three weeks to ship out a single CD and somehow I'm the a-hole, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I'm talking about Chrome Waves with a, a Grief Observed. Fantastic release. This came out this year. Uh, amazing stuff. Post-black metal. Not quite the sad boy <laughs> post-black metal. This, uh, this has some originality and so a little bit of an edge to it. Fantastic stuff. I dig this quite a bit, even though I got cursed at for forgetting that I ordered it. Fantastic stuff. I think it's like five bucks on their uh, band camp. So go check that out. If you haven't, just know it'll probably take them about three weeks to ship it out. So don't say anything because you'll get cursed. So, but that's all I've got for today. Um, I do have some more stuff coming in. That's why I wanted to go ahead and knock this video out before the stuff just piled up. I have a uh, grab bag, another uh, mystery box coming from Metallic Media slash Buck Miller Enterprises. That one should be on the way. I've done so many of those unboxings in, in the past, and I'm just going to add another one to it. They are on sale right now for, I think, $14.99 and free shipping in the U.S. for a 10-CD mystery box. So, I mean, I had to jump on that. So, if you haven't got on that, you're watching this video, go do that right now. Uh, I, I, the 20 bucks spin order should be on the way. I have some other stuff coming as well. So, definitely uh, quite a bit of material coming up on the channel in the very near future. That's all I've got for today. Stay classy, stay metal. I will see you all very soon, I promise.